board member Tejada, board member Dona, and board member Ernesto, and myself. Uh, we are currently missing one member uh, on the board, so we're vacant one member. So that gives us a long here. Uh, with us today also, we have uh, our financial consultant from the city, and we have Chaz and our city manager. Okay, uh, let's try this for the invocation. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to serve our community. We come here with the intent of serving all of our community and recognize the needs and and unique ability we have to provide those needs in our facility. We ask that you guide us and direct us in the way you would have us go and the way you would have us serve our, uh, the citizens of Floresville and surrounding areas. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Can you see? Uh, we have no citizen comments, or is anyone? Okay, we'll go ahead with that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let our financial person give her report, and she's got some interesting items here for us to look at, uh, and I think she'll, uh, Cynthia, right? And I'll uh, turn the program over to her, because she's got other things to do tonight, I'm sure, rather than listen to our moanings and groanings, okay? Thank you, no problem. Um, no, I'm trying. I was going to give you all just for the whole year, year to date, for um, last fiscal year, so through September 30th, 2021. Um, I have more in depth of expenses and revenues. Um, these numbers can change because we are still receiving invoices with services that were completed in September. Um, so we are still receiving those, so it can change some. Um, we will close out um, at the end of October. So at the end of October, we will have set numbers. So the first page is 4A. Um, I don't think that's the right one. Right? And so total revenues budgeted were 548,000, but year to date, we did receive 581,327 dollars. Um, we were up on sales tax revenue, which is great. Um, the trend is that we have been actually going up each month, so that's a plus. So we're excited for that for the future. Um, I did break it down by revenue, um, the sales tax, the rentals, concession sales, events, miscellaneous, and interest. That interest, it's $4, but it's off the CD that we have that we receive interest, just so you all know. Expenses are broken down by category. We had budgeted though uh, $447,349. We spent $363, $463. So revenues um, versus expenses, we did have a surplus of revenue of $217,864. So we did good. <laughs> That was a, a uh, if I may interject, th those were uh, efforts done by this board and of course the staff to try to mitigate as, as much expenses because we knew that, that we were coming out short because of the pandemic again on rentals. Uh, we know that our hotel motel uh, tax, the hotel motel stays were down so that's affected some of the revenues that normally would come in to pay for uh, the staff members that we have. I think that, that that was the the board's uh, uh, intent 
when they furloughed employees, but of course with that comes issues of the operations and, and how that affects that. So we are moving forward in an effort to improve that. Uh, in the current budget, we did budget for one office staff and another a maintenance person for the building. We have not moved forward to fill those positions. I'm still looking for some guidance from the council in regards to how we're gonna move forward on that. But when we do, uh, we'll let you know uh, what direction. Uh, prior to any decision being made, we'll bring it back to the board to let you know what we're looking for. It, it, are those salaries uh, gonna be taken out of this surplus? No, this is for fis the fiscal year that ended September 30th. Right, but it's so carried over a surplus. No, on no. governmental accounting, it's you start over at zero. You start over zero. Okay. Yes. That will, but that there was actual happen. revenue though, right? Yes. So now we have this, yes. So now we have this that's in the reserve, but this will have to go towards the, um, to the, the receivable the that we have. Right, that yeah. we have. Not the one, the... Right. right. For lack of better words, a deficit right. that, that's what we're talking about. Because I don't want to keep talking about that. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> but it, 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 it's a positive. <laughs> it's a positive move it's, in that direction. Yes. In addition, we are uh, still working on re uh, recouping the the money or or getting the money from hotel multiple tax that wasn't paid mm -hmm. in the ballpark of one hundred and ten thousand dollars or so that's owed to us. So once we get that then we'll apply that to, to where right. the account it needs to go to. Okay. So you all as a board have, have done a good job with the decisions no, that you've great. made. And uh, the staff uh, has also done a good job in making do with what we've got. We, we uh, partner with the city, the 4A, like we always say, that the EDC, because if we don't do that, then we won't make it. So everybody's pitched in and we continue to move forward in regards to that, hopefully. Uh, we can uh, employ more people to help us do the job that, that uh, we set out to do. So. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, man. No, no, I, I mean, and I just want to say this is probably like a 200% um, in the right direction because mm -hmm. in the years past it's usually been deficit of 200,000, but now we're in the black 200,000, <coughs> so we are moving in the right direction. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. <laughs> I do want to say we are moving in the right direction yes. and with you know things like open front page hopefully kind of. <laughs> with well, rentals, it helps when we have everything. some income coming in. Yeah. Yes. 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 Right. So if we can get more <laughs> rentals, yes. more that kind of income, we can only see better things in the future. Right. What other report are you gonna provide? Um, the other one is the is four six one four sixty, which is for the field. This one's really yeah, short, one. actually. Um, there should be one more. It's this one here. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. um, so this revenues forty-five thousand was budgeted. Um, we actually received forty-four thousand two hundred twenty-eight. So we were short the seven hundred seventy-two. That's very good. Um, but there's only two. So the rental is rental. The complexes, uh, this fields, baseball and football, and then the um, utility fee is the dollar for all utility. Um, that we have in the city. So for each bill that we receive, we receive a dollar okay. each month. Let me ask you about that, Cindy, because mm -hmm. we have offices that we rent here, right? Mm -hmm. And then we also have the, the gym that we rent. Shouldn't that that's, all be the same? That's all here. So that that's on the 4A. So if there's civic center rentals, so which is like the ballroom and the classrooms, and then there's gym rentals, which is on here. Of civic rentals and then okay, why isn't this all together be prior to me there's two funds i'm not sure why there's two funds but there's been two funds there's fund 47 i mean 570 which is event center uh -huh. and then 460 which is the fields and does that make a difference i think is there, it's is there something that you would yeah imagine. it's something that uh miss cindy is is uh, diligently working on uh, pretty much to make sure that we make the accounting changes that we need to uh, accurately reflect what's going on. Yeah, because I, I think that makes it clear where the money's may, being made, and you know, if if we if one makes money and the other loses or whatever, this year we both made money, but it could be that one was making money and one was losing sure. money. So that gives us the ability to differentiate between the two. 
She is really still around. Right. And, and if, uh, just to add to that, Ms. Cindy, you are working on trying to accurately reflect the, the revenues and expenses of said uh, yes. projects so, that we have. So that's one. The issue that we ran into in the past is that whenever payments were being made, they were being made as revenue. So you come in and you're making a deposit for an event in a year. It was going into this year's revenue when it should have actually been going into a deposit account, which was like a prepaid account um, that's not revenue. It counts as, it's on a balance sheet. It's not on our, your it's actual It's just telling the balance out but, there. Right, mm -hmm. yes, until you actually. Until we actually get to that point and yes. use that money. Correct. Or receive it. So what we ran into is that all this revenue has been, re been reporting in wrong fiscal years. So I'm working with Chez right now and that's why I put on there that some of this revenue could change because we're getting that straight <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> to make sure that going forward that doesn't happen. Well, we're used to we used to look two years out, so it's confusing. Per, and then yeah, yeah. giving a check, and, and then giving a check, they make today, a cancellation. And and See, yeah. and that's the problem too. If it goes into revenue, we're saying, oh, we have ten thousand in revenue, and then somebody cancels, and we give them back a thousand dollars. Next month, we're saying, oh, you only have nine thousand in revenue. Well, you really never even had that revenue because right. it hadn't happened. So, so we have to recommend just non-refundable deposits. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll, we'll also tax revenue or expenses, not on either one of these. No, I should have that probably, but I didn't. Okay. But the only thing on there is salaries, and then peanut. Any uh, events? Right. No. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. There was so if we hold an event out here, mm -hmm. uh, of which we haven't, right? I don't think we've done no, that this mm -hmm. past no. year. <coughs> no. Okay. Well, I guess we can talk about when, it, when that comes up. Freedom Fest. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. That's what's, that is what's budgeted for them. But um, so yeah. So that's the revenue for 460, and then expenses is supplies, materials, you know, utilities, and then contractual. We had we budgeted for thirty thousand. We actually only spent twenty five thousand one hundred seventy eight. So we are in black nineteen thousand fifty dollars. Good. <coughs> and then my third one is just the um, I don't know if you all wanted the boxing event, but I did put the boxing event um, on here. Um, I know that first the Sun Belt one that's a questionable expense, and we are waiting for. Mm -hmm. um, that the gentleman didn't make the payment or what's owed, but I have it on here until that's received. Yeah. Yes. So the expenses we had were uh, Sunbell, mm -hmm. Granger, mm -hmm. high profile contractors for the bar, City of Floresville workers, HEB, Beer Soul, A Smart, Square Pay Fee, and the total expenses are there. The revenues that we've got or cash and credit that we've taken. Uh, our finance director has done a good job again of allowing uh, credit cards to be used here through the Square app program that she uh, she got some, uh, got that in place and then had some uh, iPads that we could start using to take credit card payments in addition. And, uh, and then we get your iPads. Expenses versus revenue, that's a profit that was shown. So that's something that I know Chaz wants to discuss with the board in regards to big events like this and how we can change uh, uh, what we charge for the use of the building. So. I mean, it was a $4,000 profit, basically. Uh, and we need to... More of those. We yeah. need more of those. And, and this like is one... one a month. Yeah, this is one thing <laughs> that, that I want the board to uh, know. Miss Cindy is real detailed in what she books on there on the expenses because we talked about the like she said the Sun Belt the the scissor lift the center has a scissor lift but it has been down for some time so we had to rent one normally if that was the case and we wouldn't have an expense because we own that once we get that fixed then that'll be one expense that we won't have uh, and other things that we've talked about is is the help of being able to to man uh, an event that big as uh, some of you were there you saw how many people were there and what it takes 
what takes the most in an event like this that would normally not be an expense and would make things run smoother is that any alcoholic beverage that's sold has to be removed from the container that it comes in to a plastic cup. So that's time, that's expense, that's you know a slow process right there. So we're trying to figure out what we can do in regards to that. Could we do keg? You can, but it's going to be the same amount. You have to pump, you have to pour, yeah. it's going to be the same thing. It's actually more work. So those things we'll, we'll have to look at as a, as a board and staff to see yeah. how we can improve on that. But the event was awesome. I didn't hear anything negative about what mm -hmm. what went on. I, I thought it was as long as does a good job. I thought it was a real good thing. We as as or you as a board and and we as staff have to come up with either costs for the building that we charge for events that big, and then what's allowed and what's not allowed. Exactly. So if we can you know we can make sure that we maximize the revenues that we can get because it can be a lot more as we know. And also the beer, like the leftover beer that's there, we continue to use for prior events. Yeah, so, so like we can make our money still back profit. off that. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, I put just what we sold though. Okay. Okay. I changed yeah. that. Uh, but what that is? stuff that we talked about in the past, this one was owed to the event center because of the pandemic. So this was a boxing event that was owed to us. So, and after we had talked, we talked about doing an entertainment price for anybody that wanted to come in uh, and rent our venue. I know we had talked about uh, me and Tom negotiating that. Uh, somebody wants to come in and say he wants to come back. It's going to be not the wedding price. It's going to be a different charge for him because he's uh, obviously making money off of our venue. And uh, Chez, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but on the profit portion that we show there, that doesn't include the rental of the building, right? Because no, he did pay rental on that, so yeah. that would have kicked it over the five thousand dollar mark. But like Miss uh, Cindy said, that was previously booked previously somewhere been. else when right. it should have hit it's our staying, books right now. Should have been so. just staying in the yeah, that deposit. would have to be moved to yeah. Right. So, yeah. You know, so. I don't think we're going to change our expenses too much. We might there might be some minor changes, but I think our our uh, things where we have to look at is the revenue mm -hmm. concession, maybe mm -hmm. uh, the parking. And then another thing, Mayor, it's a, a board member, I call you Mayor, but the the issue that is not on this sheet right here is the money's made with people staying at the hotels. Right. Money's made with people stopping at the convenience stores. Money's made with people eating at the restaurants because they did. We saw big groups of people eating at restaurants and, and simulating the economy there with sales tax and and uh, buying their, their stuff here in our town and you know, frequent in our restaurants, our, our convenience stores, and then our hotels and motels. So if you start adding all of that, then it's it's a big dollar number that the city makes as a whole. Yeah. I know there was an event out here last week, uh, and or the no, Masonic no. Lodge uh, uh, was out here. They brought over 200 people into town for two days, or well, two nights. And uh, those people stayed in our hotels, they stayed in our, you know, ate in our restaurants and things like that. Um, and I thought that was another thing, you know, the more people we can get like that, um, and we have a real attraction for uh, groups like that with, let's say, people older age, because we're not in the middle of downtown San Antonio. I went to a convention uh, just the other day in Fort Worth, and I had to walk for, I don't, I, well, I ended up using Uber. Or Uber in traffic. Because it was, you know, it was almost a mile from our hotel, and we were across the street, practically. But you still had to walk a mile and a half to, to get in the front door. And uh, downtown <laughs> traffic was terrible. Excuse me. So we had an advantage in that because old people don't like to drive in a fashion like that downtown. At least I don't. And I think we need to market things like that. Uh, VFW, uh, retired uh, teachers, or things like that, that we have a natural attraction for. Because they can say, go to Floresville, and it's, it's real simple to find. And get to. And we don't have to walk forever. <laughs> So let me ask you, Chess, uh, on the parking, did we get uh, any button? No? Mm -hmm. No. 
we know, were told and, nobody and, and, was uh, we were told nobody was doing parking we had a meeting as a city and we decided not to because we weren't going to be prepared for it uh he didn't tell us about the parking uh, you know until the day of it happened well you know because that's they make some bucks on that parking. Yeah, five bucks and, a uh, parking. And, and, uh, and, uh, and a lot of people were not aware of this, you know, and uh, I had been asked, and, uh, and I don't know what to tell them. I said, I don't know. But uh, it, it, it was an issue, I think. I, I think especially they should let it be known to you since you run this facility and you decide what is done and not done. And uh, we have to have more control. Yeah, the pay-per-view also, that, that's another revenue source. And I don't think they discussed pay-per-view prior no, to was the, the week of when he said iconic pay-per-view was coming. That's a revenue source right there. Mm -hmm. Could have done some advertising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miss uh, Cindy uh, has to be leaving here a little okay. bit. What would the board like uh, as far as financial reports? Is there anything that recommendations that you'd like for her to bring forth? To this she's this is clear and understandable. This is very good. Yeah. We have had it's probably since we started. <clears throat> it makes sense out of things, and I appreciate it. No problem. One day in the future, mm -hmm. I'd like to see, uh, and maybe we have that already, some type of paper trail. If somebody's booking this building or the pavilions or the beer warehouse, is there a paper trail from the time they rent it, have the event, and then going back to, oh. to City Hall? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's great. That's what we're great. working on. Yes. Right. So, yeah. Chet, let me ask work. you. Uh, uh, very good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. The beer cells, mm -hmm. were they in charge of it or the facility here was in charge? Uh, we are, because it's our. Our, uh, beer license, license at all. Yes. Okay, well that was a concern that I had. I thought that they <coughs> were selling the beers, that they had waitresses and so on and so on and sell the beer. I said, if something happens, that'll come to us, whether we sold yeah. the beer or not. No, it was all and this is what my concern was. We had all beer and sodas, oh. so we had all of that. Of but you were aware that that was going to happen, so it wasn't a uh, yeah, he you know, does. the last minute say, well, no, no, no. we always take in beer sales for the okay. boxing events. Let me so. tell you that that uh, we spoke as a group, uh, the finance director, Ches and myself, that we wanted to make sure that things ran smooth. So we, we decided to hire this professional group to come in and help out. And they were overwhelmed. They, were overwhelmed. they, they were said, this is the biggest event, that, and they're professionals at this. They were, this is like the biggest event that we've had. So it, it made me proud, and then it, it scared me too, because I'm like, they're professionals, yeah. and they're having a hard time. I know, right? Think, so. <laughs> that was what what the we to do it. Uh, he hasn't gave me the full number, but it was right around with people standing, and everybody in there close to 2,000. 2,000? Yeah. That's awesome. So it's a good step forward, finally. It's building just and doing what it it's was just built better to do. coming in with uh, promoters to come in like that, where we take parking, where we can make more of the profit sales on our end. Exactly. And uh, he's willing to give it up. He's asked us in the past. It was just our mindsets were uh, how we can do it. We're going to back up traffic. What the situation is, but uh, this next time we're willing to take it on and do to be able more to numbers, radios. Mm -hmm. Well, we—I actually asked the fight before this one. I asked the volunteer fire department if they wanted to do it for us, do the parking for us, and take everything. We would split it with them. It's a fundraiser for them, so they agreed to do it. Well, there you go. And they were—they're good at it. They—they they do that. Yeah, for the, the trucks, bank, the bikes, and all that, and all that stuff. Yeah, that. They do it for the high school and the food banks. They used to do it for us all the time. So it'll be helping the fire department. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Come up with funds and our equipment and all that. So win win. Yeah. And it's just finding different ways. Uh, I think we talked about entertainment coming in like that where our, it's not going to be an actual uh, payment like a wedding pace. It's going to be a little higher because they're making money, obviously. So we got to make... So basically come to an agreement with them, hey, yeah. this much, you know, yeah. but at the same time, we don't yeah, want to take it to San Antonio because yeah, definitely. he's known to book the San Antonio Event Center, yeah. so... Yeah. Well, he had know, a it's hard for Florizo, you and know. he's reached out to Florizo already about doing another one in December, which yeah. we have no dates right now. But he's interested in coming back, so we want to keep these uh, partnerships with them to keep coming and bringing people here and packing the house. Mm -hmm. So, no, he was great. I have heard nothing but positive things on the this. whole city. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
And uh, I was just wondering also about the, uh, the the police force. Do they hire them to kind of? We contract them because we have a contract with the PD. We let them know the officers are going to be here and they pay them at the end of the night. So that, that's for every event. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They, but they pay. They yes. pay. Yeah. yeah. All the guests, whoever rents the building, they pay. The only oh, okay. time we pay off all for our officers if we host the event ourselves. Okay. So, okay. Did the better. EMS work that hard at that time? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. They did. Yes. They did great. Good. It's great. Yeah. Very no, he did a fantastic job. If you weren't here, I mean, he put lights and a trough on top of our ceiling. I mean, he had an amazing it was a show. show. It was good lighting, everything. It was. Uh, we've been getting nonstop phone calls about it. I was just going to say, you know, that uh, we reached a lot of people out there that didn't know that Floresville exists. Yeah. Know, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we're still in, about to get Tyler Tech. Are they still called Tyler Tech? Mm -hmm. So that's another advertisement on our own website that's going to help out the city too with the event center. Where we'll be able to do everything online. All the bookings so. will be, can be online. Yeah. There'll be a calendar online. So. Yeah, we have to spend a little All bit of money to make money. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. But where does so that money come from? If we're going to spend something, if we're going to. Well, like that. How does it we haven't budgeted already the but IT will, services. But it can't come out of so, here, it can't come out of uh, sales tax. Where does it come out of? Yes. No, no, no. Oh, it does? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Um, it's going to be out of our con contractual. We have, we already have it. We've already been paying for this service. Okay. We've never taken advantage of it. So I questioned what's this bill. They said it's a s part of their mm -hmm. module that they have. So we're going to get it. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can we do this budget twice a year? Uh, I would like to negotiate three, three, three times a year. Yeah. That's, a year. Fine. Uh, that's what we're going to talk about with him. I would like Tom to be there since he's a 4A. Uh, me and Andy, whoever needs to be there. Huh? What's going on? Buddy? Yeah, I know we want to get at least three times a year and keep keep him coming. We got promoters that uh, they are wanting to come in now to do stuff too. Uh, he's done one here. He's done an MMA one here. He's doing an actual fight in uh, Beeville. So he's looking to come back and want to do some amateur stuff here. So it's going to open up the doors where we can take advantage. And he's local. Yeah. We also got a car show wanting to come in early next year. Uh, that's one thing I'm going to get with Tom because they're wanting to do, they do this in San Antonio, big car shows. And obviously they want to come and bring the cars inside out. Uh, but they do a burnout contest. So I told him I got to get approval for that. <laughs> do it before they fix the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> all right. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. The way it's moving. Oh, my all goodness. The time, so. <laughs> it's <laughs> odd. <laughs> but that's something uh, that we haven't had here in a while, car show. So bringing a car show from San Antonio that brings a lot of people to. Mm -hmm. They bring vendors. They want to do it for free. Uh, and they're going to pay the price, whatever we tell them. Uh, but they, they asked me to bring it to the board and ask if they can do a burnout contest because they do them in San Antonio. I just told them I get a good approval because there's a bunch of light poles out there. <laughs> we won't. Waiver. Yeah. Get one of our light poles and you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. And then we get an update. Well, and then I think we also just y'all need to put out there that now credit cards are being taken at. Yeah, part right. here? Yes. Oh, yes. That's what she's saying. The square. Yes. Really? Yeah, yes. that's the, the square. square. He brought it to me and thing. I looked into it and I did it in a day and got everything oh, done. Loved it. So, it helped out so much because the boxing events before there was, we were consistently Nobody carries cash. Nobody carries cash. Even though we did have more cash than card, but people were used to coming here. Yeah. Yeah. They, they but, came ready well, for the, Now we got to look into putting an ATM here and charging that $10 to take money out. And that transfer <laughs> fee. It's not a joke. The transfer fee, you know, yeah. you go somewhere in like the mall or something. Yeah. Well, actually, the, the people that own the ATM, they take all that. Well, that's why we need to buy it. Right. Yeah, we just borrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but with the card, it's going to help all the bartenders so much. It's going to keep track of our inventory better than what we can do on paper because it's just all on point of sale yeah, online. Everything. You can't change it. You can't alter it. You just go in there and it keeps track for us on there. It tells you exactly what we spent, uh, what went out, everything. So it just, just makes things easier for us here. That's Good. awesome. What does that cost? They, all they do is give you the fee. So on here I have the square fee. I think it was 2.1 2. 2. Yeah, two or 2.5. 2. I think it's a 2 yeah. point something, but. So it was $107 for the really? $3,500. That's not bad. No, no, not at all. Yeah, and it's really easy to use. I mean, it's so convenient. Every time you have that, we just 
be able to take a card and give it back to them instead of dealing with cash. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will start advertising on Facebook. We'll put it on the city pages. We'll put it everywhere so people know. Uh, we put the stickers by the windows so it tells you too we take card. Uh, so no you know, one, thing I, no so. one thing I've noticed about these events, every time we do something, we learn something mm -hmm. out of this. Like the credit card thing this time, and if we keep developing that, we're going to learn more and more about how these other operations work and how they make profit at it. And that's going to help us down the line. It's more the more that we learn from these people. Can we get better? Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's all we needed, Miss Indy. We right. to go. We Thank you very it. much. And again, your, your numbers, this was the best set of numbers I've seen. Not only because they were profitable, but because <laughs> I can understand them. That helps them. Well, that's the right. Yeah, you want to applause for it. Good job. All right. Well, I'm here. If y'all have questions, anytime. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the other thing, I. I been after this for a while uh, and I'm taking this under item A uh, in, in op the operations end of it. Uh, I would like to see us put some kind of a gating system, not, I'm not using it all the time necessarily, but a gating system for our two gates out here. And we've got the, we get the park closed but then they can come right on in through the road over here into the event center. We've got that vast area down there, and it's just going to be a matter of time till we have a, a situation. And I was noticing the, the way the school's got the little uh, thing there across Tiger Lane right in front. It's not difficult to build, and yet it would keep people from just coming in and going to the back of the area back there or something like that. I can envision someday somebody getting out there doing wheelies on the football field or baseball field or something like that and tearing up yeah. property and, or doing, you know, having uh, an incident back there of violence or something like that because it's way out in the back of nowhere back there. And I'm sure our police officers cover that, but they there is no way they can cover that thing in way I feel like it should be and I'd like to see us put a gate here and one over here so that people would not just be free to drive in and, and uh, do property damage or whatever because somebody with a BB gun could get us pretty good and uh, or go into the back door no one would ever see them breaking into the, the beer locker back there because it, it's in the back of the building and nobody would ever see it until we found it the next day we can get some estimates chairs on that okay. to see what it will cost. We've okay. got an in-house uh, welder. If we can uh, look about a contractor to do that or if we just price material and then see if he can get it done. Okay. We haven't had it happen, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. And if it did, it could be something serious. And that's my thought. Okay, sir. We'll take that and, and I'll see what we can come up with. You know, another thing that I would like to see is maybe have a, a, a sign lit it up where it'll say Floresville Event Center, you know, over there close to the road. Uh, I don't know, maybe 12 foot high, 16 foot high, something like that. Yeah, we actually, we had <laughs> Tim Melodis that week, we actually ran into a few people that, that do the signs and we I think we spoke to in the past, so that's one thing we brought up too about yeah. possibly bringing uh, it's that It's been on the agenda and it hasn't. Yeah, it's just guys to get past where we can be able to do it but yeah i know we saw some awesome signs that were not that expensive and, and uh, it would be nice out here in the front and another one maybe uh some kind of sign at uh 181 yeah pointing people this pointing, way exactly uh you, you say well turn on 97 well that's fine for all of us to live here but if you don't live here uh, you're wondering kind of where 97 goes after he leaves the first stop sign down there. Yes, sir. We'll start looking at, at the sign. Like Jess said, we did speak with some people, and and then we'll talk about the one at 97 and 181. Maybe we can 
partner with their EDC uh, partners and see what they can do to help us out. Yeah. Yeah, sign is going to be what uh, we priced them at three hundred. Yeah. Oh. Write yeah. right them a check. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you guys want your theater in. Yeah, that's all. He was checking his bank account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it hasn't been approved. It's been discussed for years. We can do that. Yeah, yeah. because if people but drive by and they see a bunch of cars and they have no idea what's exactly. happening. Exactly. Yep. You know, and I think that it's just the amount. I mean, we just have to do it. And then we'll worry how we're going to pay for it later. <laughs> you know what you're saying? Do it and then beg for forgiveness. <laughs> Put a little Go can me. there, chips, to pay a sign talk. No, but really, I, I think yeah. we need one too. We're looking, we're looking real good, like the, the, the young lady said about the uh, sales tax, with the growth that we're seeing and the increase in people and homes and businesses. Uh, we're headed in the right direction, sir. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get that accomplished yeah. for you soon. That's the highest those tax we had, right? Yep. So we're at the uh, half a million dollars. Yep. That's good. Bill, we've never seen that. No. No. We've seen everything, but we've never seen that. Like that. <laughs> it's a good report and uh we had in the right direction. Okay. Uh, anyone else have anything under item A on the agenda? We've talked about rentals, we've talked about yeah. operations. Uh, I noticed we got the buses parked out front now. Are they going to continue to do that? Or? Uh, no, they just been, uh, they don't stay very long. They're always in and out, so they keep yeah. them up front just because it's easier for them to go through. Uh, I think they've just been having trouble like uh, during football practices because there's so many cars and they get parked in. Yeah. They get blocked in back there at the practices. Uh, so during the week, it's hard for them to get out during yeah. those times. Well, it also makes them more visible, less likely to get vandalized yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And that's the other thing. Uh, if we ask people to park, you know, like the buses or equipment baseball equipment football equipment whatever back here it's all wide open so we'll come at it with the truck and be gone with all of it that's why i want those gates to be okay mm -hmm. okay <laughs> um, and item b i think that needs to be tabled uh chairs you said they're not going to be it's, here tonight he's and not going to be here but he said he can take a phone call and explain to you all guys uh, what his idea is, what he wants to do. Not we could, we could be here can he get him on that right? <laughs> he, he's looking like next week. He asked if he can, he actually said tomorrow, but I told him tomorrow would be yeah. doable and have to be next week sometime. So what weekend, the 23rd or the last weekend? He's wanting to do the last weekend of October. Oh, what does he want to do? What is so he wants to do a Fall Fest. He wants to bring festivals down here. He wants to do a Fall Fest. He's a promoter out of San Antonio. He does any talent, partners. musical talent. Yeah, or? he has musical talent. He has a beer. Uh, he he has somebody who does beer too. He has a, li a license to a partner, but he I told him we have the beer license here. Uh, so uh, he talked about partnering with the city. He has uh, food booths, market booths, stuff like that. He wants to be able to come bring festivals here. So events here to the city. How do, what's the concept for revenue and expenses? As I was saying, what do we charge him? You know, what do well, we if he mean? does it by himself, of course, he's going to take all the initial costs, but he wants to partner with the city of Florida. He knows about the hotel motel tax. He wants to partner in with us to see if we split and then uh, make try to make what we can make together. And, and he's talking about the last week in October of this year? Yeah, he's wanting to move How is he going to do that? He said he has people lined up so for him. So he lined up, just waiting for a location? Mm -hmm. I know we had discussed, me and Andy met with them a couple of times. I, I think it's too soon. Uh, we haven't even, did. he wants to do it. He wanted to do it here, but I told him there's no possible way. We're booked. And then he talked about the amphitheater. We haven't dedicated the amphitheater yet. We haven't really opened it up. Uh, it would be a great location, but uh, I I would like for y'all guys to meet him. He was supposed to be here tonight. Do we have adequate oh, uh, electrical oh, surface down at the amphitheater? Yes. We've got that done, sir. We've got uh, a couple of things on lighting that we need. 
in the, the mm -hmm. interior of that and then and then probably the outside. outside spotlights but uh, the, the electric is there the only thing that I, I've asked Chaz I, I think it's a little too soon to yeah. get that I, yeah. I'd like to I'd like to get it dedicated and then try it out with ourselves to ensure that everything works out. Okay. Make sure we get the stones so, out. I probably should bring this out for you, but this is what he uh, sent to me. Uh, he said, thank you for your time for speaking with me about the first annual Fall Fest Festival 2021 this year. He said he represents the aero, aero, the aero promotions and events. And we have established ourselves in a line of events and promotions. Our events have great outcomes and variety of, e of venues. This year, I have a variety of different organized recesses. So he said he's able to bring 10 food booths, four beer booths, six different bands each night, mariachis, uh, folklorico dancers, country singers, Tejano, Latin hip hop, business booth giveaways, arts and crafts, powwow performances. Okay, he can bring them, but what is he expecting from the city? He's looking to do partnership with the city, like if we want to go in uh, to do this together. And, uh, and he didn't really say much on it, like if he wanted us to pay Funds. him to help him do it, or if we're coming in partnership together where we split everything, where we're gonna Well, it sounds like bring all sorts of stuff in, but where he's gonna have, the, he's gonna have to import the people too. Yeah. Exactly, where's yeah. the, I mean, he's got less than a week to for partnership or real labor. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think he's asking for partnership for otherwise. Yeah, that sounds like it. That's so what like he's Donate for. the building in and hey, I'll give yeah. you yeah. half of the... We need to find more, more yeah. specifics. Yeah, and that's why I told him to come out today so he can present it, but uh, he couldn't be here. I don't know if you want to talk to him over the phone. If not, I can let him know that... Uh, no, it's kind of more of a face-to-face, face, face, yeah. yeah. Okay, I can let him know. We'll have to set up another meeting. Make sure he shows up. Then. Yeah, but, you know, I I really doubt it. He, he, I don't see how people put something like that on. Maybe at the end of November. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, maybe the, the he's given a month run. Yeah, 13. Uh, October. 13. Yeah. Should've been talking to us in July. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we met him maybe like three weeks ago. He came in and he just wanted to jump on. So, and we didn't have a meeting last month, so. But I can definitely let them know. I'm not sure if y'all want to schedule another meeting next week uh, or what you guys want to do. I can give him another date. He just said he was, uh, his son was in a bad car accident. He had to head that way. Uh, tell him we wish his son well, but we need to visit with him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we're going on to item C. Discussion and possible action regarding uh, December 11th event at uh, the center. <clears throat> so our date is um, good to go. Uh, I believe they're already flying out selling tickets. Uh, the event's full force right now, so we're just December 11th will be here by the time we know it. So we're just working with. What are we calling it now? Uh, I think they kept it the same holiday. I think it's the holiday. Yeah, but it's not a city event. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think they're calling it his his holiday. Yeah, it's holiday party or holiday event. So, yeah. uh, it's it's called holiday. It's not holiday itself again. It's the holiday bash, uh, Christmas think, bash or something. Yeah. Yes. yes. So who is it? The same people, uh, Ramos or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ruben Ramos is hosting it. He's the one that uh is hosting the whole thing. Him and his entertainment. Uh, his business is doing the, the, the part of it where they're bringing the entertainment, they're taking the res, they're doing it all. And we're just taking all, we're taking all the beer sales. So I was going to say beer sales, we're still in charge of that and he's so, paying rentals just like so, everyone else. So it's all coming to us. Yeah. Okay. It's all coming to us where we're going to take care of all that. It's not a loss this time. Yeah, so we're not spending any money on the entertainment or anything. We're just going to let somebody else host it while we uh, take the beer sales and stuff. So. I think it's a good deal, especially us coming out of there. They want to bring a bottle and stuff like that, you know. It's, it's yeah, it's all staying the same. So our, our um, ours is still staying the same. We have the BYOB policy, so you can still bring your own bottle of liquor in. Uh, you just can't bring any beer. We just have to have people there on both doors, making sure that the bags that they carry, you know, they they able to put in beer, liquor, and so on. You know, liquor they can. <coughs> liquor they can bring in. Yeah. Yep. Not in the bag though, right? 
Well, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine, but have somebody there checking the banks, make sure that, that well, they're not Well, I've done that, uh, ain't that what the cops sent? What they're paid for? And yeah, they don't, don't have cops in the front. Security is supposed to be checking. Okay. Yeah. Security checks to see, make sure nobody's bringing an ice chest or anything like that. Uh, if they do look like they have any beer, they'll check it and they'll send them out their way and let them know no beer's involved. So they did a pretty good job. I know we have issues in the past, but they've done a pretty good job of having security up in the front, making sure yeah. nobody's bringing in beer and nobody's leaving out with beer. With beer. In other words, like bring liquor, with beer. they can't bring beer. Right. Yeah, they can bring liquor, but no beer. No, no sodas, no, no water. No sodas that we sell. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so they're able to bring liquor, but they got to buy all our sodas setups. So we sell all that. We have always turned down the idea of, of, of liquor license. And I don't know with other things coming on if, if the need is different now than it used to be, but we always have declined on the, the you know, it's more expensive license and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. Well, that becomes a, a staff also. We'd have to hire a, Yeah, yeah we got to hire someone with the ABC. And yeah. And somebody knows what they're. Yeah, yeah, an yeah. actual bartender and a manager and yeah, because ours are at TBC. the end of the night you're looking like three, four people staff just for yeah. Ours are TBC, liquor. but you would look for somebody that is qualified to be able to serve the liquor. Mixologist yeah. is what yeah. they call it now. But Chiz, is this an opportunity for concessions for us? Maybe uh, for December eleventh. Uh, yes, so that's we can either contract it out, and charge for our kitchen, or we can possibly do something ourselves. Yeah. And if you've ever attended one of these events, it's mostly people from uh, outside of Floresville. Yeah, yeah. So are we going to do anything uh, like to promote the building, decorate it? Uh, I would like to. I would like to put some lights up in the front, do some little stuff like that to make it, because we've done in the past and it looks amazing. I mean, especially during Christmas time. Yeah. Christmas time, we can promote the building. It's good for the pictures and marketing so we can put on yeah. our, our new website. The shape of our building lends to yeah. lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. And I have a, a company that's real cheap. They put up the lights for us and they put up good lighting, Christmas lights. We did it when we did it in the past and it looked, the whole building looked amazing inside and out. So I think us doing that would be beneficial. We can use that as a marketing tool for our events. I think so too. Yeah. Especially once we get back to next year doing our bridal shows or expos to, you know, all the stuff that we do. I'm actually uh, wanting to attend a uh, conference in San Antonio the 10th through the 14th and they go over how to handle events, festivals, how to bring in new sponsors, they uh, teach you all that stuff and other towns uh, talk about their ideas of how they did it, how they started, how they grew up. So I think it's a great thing uh, for our staff to go into that. So, to so going back to that event, uh, is there a budget for that Andy? Uh, to I believe we have a marketing budget, uh, a marketing budget where we can be able to look into. We can talk about that. Sure, we'll look at what we've got uh, in that budget, Chaz, and then we'll okay. look at what we've got within the city. I know uh, the public works guys, since it had been raining, they were pulling out all kinds of Christmas stuff that we've got mm -hmm. there, so we can see if we can utilize some of that and then buy uh, hey, I'll what we're lacking. Oh no, EBC will have their stuff downtown. I was like, I like that Santa thing. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, the tree lighting. Yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. just borrow it. Borrow it for, yeah. for that day. Yeah. Yeah, because it has a nice uh, Santa where people can walk in, take a picture with him, and stuff yeah. like that. So I'll when do they, do they, they always do theirs like the first weekend of December, right? I'm not sure. When I think it's the any, first have weekend. Have you started planning that yet? The uh, Christmas uh, lighting? I think it's the first Friday. It's the first Friday. It's the first Friday. Yeah, I think it's Saturday because they always hire me to do sound. And it's on a Saturday because it's all day thing. Unless they do it on a Friday night where it's just a, they've done the mini parade. But they get borrowed. Yeah, I'll get with them. We'll set it up for that day over there and then, hey, Ben, we got to borrow it for the <laughs> night, you know, we'll put it back Sunday morning. Yeah, I know, definitely. Uh, I Are you on the way home, you know? Definitely so using that stuff uh, to help work at our building. It's going to be great. Cool. No, yeah, I'll get with them. Okay. Does anyone have anything else we need to bring up that's on the, within the, the scope of the agenda. Uh, I think it's been a very good meeting, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Good meeting. I just suggest for the next meeting we discuss what we're going to do for the build, beer sales for the 11th. So is it going to, you have your employees ready for that or? 
Uh, yeah, we just get contractors for that. Um, okay. We're gonna get our regular contractors making sure we have enough room and area to do it. Especially if we do the whole concession, it's gonna be so much easier because it's gonna be all our people. Or if we do contract it out, I'm gonna rent the kitchen to a, somebody that brings food in. So we'll make profit off of that too. Okay. What is the condition of our kitchen now? Are we in good shape back there? Oh yes, everything works, everything's great. Uh, our, our appliance has been there since it opened and they ice machine. I actually had the ice machine service a few times just to make sure it's good and it works great. It's a huge ice machine, throws a lot of stuff. Is there ice machines down at the? Yes, there is, yeah. Concession. We've had trouble with those, uh, one of them, but we got it fixed, it's good to go. Uh, they're just a little smaller, but I mean, they do the work. And then uh, we really don't have any other appliances down there. The kitchen, we have the stove, everything, everything works great in there still. Yeah. So we've never had any major issues with that. Our cooler is always up to good. We still have our fridge in there too. So uh, the guys that I have here, they do a great job of cleaning it up, making sure it stays nice and clean because people leave stuff in there all the time, but uh, uh, they take care of the issues. Well, gentlemen, thank you for a good meeting this evening. Uh, thank you. It was always nice to hear good news and uh, go from there. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. A motion by Ernesto to uh, adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. I got a second for Ghana. All those in favor? Bye. We are adjourned. Thank you very much. Great meeting.